six from the 38-yard line. Early moments of the second half. Jags lead at nine to nothing. Trips to the left. For the Carolina game, you were watching some Fred Taylor highlights. Um, what, how did that motivate you? Obviously, when I go back and watch Fred Taylor tape, it's it's crazy to see all those long runs. You had one yourself against the Panthers. Off to the right to Travis Etienne. Got a little bit of a block. 40, 45. Pull on the right side. Line 40, 35, 30, 25. I'm here trying to pay homage to him, trying to be better than him, trying to just be the best player that I can be. And who better to learn from from the best player who's done it here? Travis Etienne to the goal line. Touchdown, Travis Etienne. An explosive run. And the first touchdown of the game for the Jaguars. Fred Taylor's here watching. Like I gotta go. I, I gotta ball out. I gotta like just go out there and make plays, not only for him but for my teammates because it just helps us as a team and helps us win a game. Pittsburgh loves their running backs, yeah. and you go into that stadium and you're going 90 yards to the house. What's going through your head? Oh man, uh, it was. I think it was third and two, and we just needed a first down to uh, to seal the game away. The hole was there, I took it. The coaches was on the sideline telling me to get down, <laughs> get down and stuff. And uh, I mean, it had nothing but daylight. And Leonard Fournette racing 90 yards. So you pretended to have hearing loss at that moment when the coaches yeah, were saying him. Yeah, I heard him, but I knew nobody wasn't going to catch me, though. Boy, what a great look and run by Leonard Fournette. That game against the Eagles in October of 1997. Five touchdowns, still a Jaguars record. Tell me about that day. Stewart here with a chance maybe for five. Yep, it would be his fifth, and it is his fifth touchdown of the game. He goes in untouched. Well, you know, this, this is a team sport. Five rushing touchdowns in the game for James Stewart, number one pick in 1995 out of Tennessee. And so for that day, as much as it was for me to five, score five touchdown, it was also about the offensive line, the tight ends. You gotta get some production here, and they've got to start with him and the ball to Maurice. Here's a toss sweep to Maurice, looking for a block. He's got wings across the plane, next to Amos. He's free, he's at the 30, first to speed, 35. He goes to the 40, the 45, the 50. He's across the 40, he's still going. Maurice is going, he's at the 20, the 10, the five, touchdown. Maurice threw 80 yards! I told you, just, just give Maurice a carry, will you? <laughs> he was pure running. Pure. The man was born to run with the football. It was so hard for the defenders to get a hold of because of the size and the fact that he was this compact muscle who nobody could. He's so strong. First down at the 21. And Maurice Jones, Jew, breaking tackles again! Look at this kid! Unbelievable! He needs one block! Gerard in front! Gerard blocking! Maurice Jones, Drew, touchdown Jacksonville! What a play! 79 yards! That run was 79 yards. His first touch of the day was an 80-yard run for a touchdown. When you give him the ball, good things happen. He's a guy who struck me that he earned everything he got in. He's like disappeared in the middle of a pile, and then he came out the other side. He was still running, you know. We're not that big of a guy, he could push the pile. You know, you know there's no doubt about that. I, I mean, Grace Jones Drew is just, he's just a pure football player. Divisional round, Miami Dolphins came to Jacksonville. Early in the game, Coach Coffin called a 40 draw. And it's a draw again. Taylor going outside, he's at the 10, breaks a tackle, looking for room inside at the 15, outside, there he goes, hit the foot race, Taylor's gone! He's at the 40, he's at the 50, he's at the 40, he's at the 30, Taylor to the 20, Taylor 10, 5, touchdown, Jacksonville, 90 yards, well, 90 I, yards. I believe they did something, Brian, <laughs> is that what you were looking for? 90 yards. I remember Brock Marion chasing me down the sideline, so I went at a 45 degree angle to the middle of the field, looking back, laughing in my helmet. 90 yards later, which is still, to this day, an NFL playoff run record. People don't really understand how many long runs he had. I feel like when I was watching the highlights, he was just run after run after run. I'm like, bruh, 